It may not look like much, but this paste-like material known as nanocellulose has limitless potential. I believe it puts Maine in this very unique position, and I like to call Maine has the potential to be like what I call nanocellulose valley. It's Maine's version of Silicon Valley, innovation happening down the hall from Colleen Walker's office. She's the director of the University of Maine's Process and Development Center, which is producing one ton a day of nanocellulose, something no one else in the country can do. Where you have the production, you have the raw material through, um, through the state of Maine, um, and the, app, the people that can develop the applications. Nanocellulose is a product made from extra wood-based materials. The University of Maine is able to take wood pulp and in one day create a batch of nanocellulose. From there, its practical applications are seemingly endless. It can be used in packaging, cosmetics, cement, and in bone replacement. Nearly 50 researchers at UMaine are working to find where it works best. Mehdi Tajvidi is one of them. My target applications are basically things that are normally high volume, uh, lower value products, like building products and household items. Tajvidi has used nanocellulose to create particle board without a potentially dangerous chemical. You replace totally that formaldehyde-based resin with nanocellulose. So basically we are using wood to bind wood particles together. It's innovation like this that has excited those in the traditional wood processing industry in Maine. And use our lowest grades of wood for some really high value products. Steve Sly's family has been a leader in Maine's logging industry since its heyday in the 1800s. After years of seeing a drop in the market and more mills closing, there's a new opportunity for one of Maine's most plentiful industries, trees. It's fun, it's exciting. I, it gives us a new place to work and, and to uh, participate in global markets. So you're working with a renewable, sustainable material that's, that's already out there. Nearly no one else in the entire world able to do what's happening in Maine with nearly endless opportunities. In Orono, Sean Stackhouse, News Center, Maine.